Welcome everybody. Um, that was Island Style by ooh, the great uh, John Cruz. Awesome. Welcome to the ukulele workshop. I'm invited to be here. I don't have my chat feature on, so let me turn that on. All right. I've got my comments ready. All right. It's a beautiful Saturday. Um, coming into the holiday season, and I'm totally excited to be with you guys today. Pretty awesome. I got an awesome guest today, and I'm excited to bring uh, this gentleman on. But um, just wanted to give you some uh, Dave's Island news. Uh, today we're going to be, I think the focus is going to be, since it's the holiday thing on today is like for beginners is how to buy it. Different styles, and then we'll, we'll go get into some lessons. Hello? I went mute. Hello. Right, here we go. Going back. All right. How's that? Is that better? Can you guys hear me? All right, cool. All right. Uh, basically, uh, we're having technical difficulties already. DI News. Actually, the next Saturday class, I wanted, wanted to get... Am I good? Am I good, Carrie? Good? All right. Um, in other DI news, next week uh, for our handpan class, we're going to be having Linda Arnold. Um, we're going to be talking about sound healing. And Linda Arnold, as funny as that, she was our first handpan uh, trainer at Dave's Island Instruments. I remember going to um, actually the very first class that she had for handpan music. And she's a sound healer, and it's going to be pretty amazing. So check out her events calendar for that. Um, and actually, I will, if I think of any other news, I think that's pretty much it. But um, today, it's all about the ukulele. So I want to bring on this next guest. Um, we're, uh, we're located in Lakewood, which is in Long Beach. And uh, basically, uh, our goal at Dave's Island Instruments is to be the information for ukulele around the area. And one of the companies that we work with is Ohana Ukuleles, and they're local to Long Beach. And um, I've been play, you know, I started playing five years ago. Uh, I, you know, I, when I first started out with the ukulele, I didn't know where to, basically, what ukuleles were good, what were bad. And I found out about Ohana Ukulele. Was fortunate enough to work with them, and found out their how awesome their ukulele was. But not not only how awesome their ukuleles were but how awesome the company was. And I got to meet Louis Wu, which was the owner of uh, Ohana Ukuleles. And then as, as we go along, as a company goes along, there's people behind it that are awesome. And Ohana stands for family and is definitely a family business. And this next gentleman um, I want to bring up is um, his son, which is actually working with him at Ohana right now. So let's give it up for Mr. Chris. Woo, let me see if I can do this. Boom. All right, Chris, are you there? Awesome. You are now you? unmuted. Oh, yes. Can you hear me awesome. Now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, everybody. Da, da. All right, this is Chris like Wu. 
Um, he is uh, uh, the son of Louis Wu, the owner of Ohana Ukuleles, and uh, got out of college and um, went to work for as an attorney or an uh, accountant, right? Is that correct? And now is right. is working with Ohana, and um, you know it's cool to see to be able to. Um, interact with you because i talk to you pretty much every week <laughs> about oh, <my laughs> ukuleles, right and i, I know we were right. talking yeah. earlier and there was you know that it's been really busy out there so you know everybody welcome chris Wu. so coming to you live from ohana ukuleles right <laughs> you're over at the right here in the headquarters yeah yeah hey, everybody nice nice, nice. so cool <laughs> so chris uh uh basically you know this is a beginner shop um, you know, I was mentioning to our, uh, our, our audience here that it is the holiday season and, you know, I know a lot of people, I've been getting a lot of inquiries about, uh, ukuleles and stuff like that. So I thought who better to bring on than, uh, someone from Ohana and, you know, it's been, it's, yeah, it's been pretty busy. I know we're working on some orders cause we already have back orders for Ohana ukulele. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and, you know, how, um, you know, what you do there at Ohana Ukuleles and what you love about the ukulele. Yeah, for sure. So I, I think like many others, um, I know the past guests you've had, Abe, the Lee sisters, Conrad, um, not all of them, actually, I don't think any of them started out on the ukulele, right? as their first instrument. Um, so me, I grew up playing the piano. Uh, it's about second grade, so like seven, eight years old, um, until all the way until today. And I think I did have a period where I was like, no, I don't want to do this um, for about three years in middle school. <laughs> but, but it was piano all the way. Um, so even today, I think um, if, if you guys who are watching are at the beginner level, I think I'm, you know, right there with you. Or you guys are probably even more skilled than I am, <laughs> having taken lessons from from Daniel. So I can I can you know kind of figure my way around the uke just because of the piano background that I've had. Um, but that's still my my stronger instrument. And so uh, yeah, like like Daniel was saying, I uh, came out of college, um, worked as a public accountant for a couple of years, um, actually here in Long Beach, downtown Long Beach. Nice. So I didn't go very far. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> didn't have to go very far. Uh, so did that for a couple of years and then finished doing that and came here to be here full time. And um, that was a nice, you know, accounting, you, you know, you're just doing accounting. But here I get to do obviously some of that. We, you know, we still need to do bookkeeping, accounting, that um, but then I get to be surrounded by music, right? Like I'm hearing the uke every day, even if I'm not necessarily touching it every day, um, get to talk to, you know, people like Daniel. And so there's, there's you know, music shared and music being, um, spread. And so that's what I love about, about this. That's awesome. I love, you know, and it's kind of funny because I talk to a lot of people, you know, my main, my main job is basically video production, but, um, and this is like my hobby hobby job and I, and and I thought about it it's it's all about sharing music and you know it's awesome to work with a company that's not only a family company but they have people like you that work there and love to share music too so it's like you know it's awesome it's pretty that's awesome. right yeah. yeah 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 so what is it what is it about yeah. the ukulele that you love I you know people say this a lot but it's it's easy easier relatively um <laughs> I mean, coming coming out of where you've got 88 keys so that's that's what i'm used to that might seem like a lot i'm, I'm used to that right like once you get used to it it's fine um then you talk about like a like a guitar right like i know the lee sisters who were on here a couple times ago they're they're good at guitar um you do not want me to be having holding a guitar and try playing it it's, it's a mess <laughs> i cannot stick strings like that's that's too many for me who's used to 88 keys um so i pick up you know pick up a ukulele and it's like okay it's four i can i can do four mm -hmm. um especially with the chords most chords have you know two maybe three fingers on it yeah right right so that's that that's to me that's the easier approach as i kind of get into the the uke right <laughs> slowly right right, right. yeah 
Cool. Well, you know, and, yeah. and, and it's cool that, you know, like you were saying, you're just around the ook music all the time. And I find like, it's kind of weird if you're like in around it all the time, you get to see everything. Like, for example, I started like videotaping a lot of those guys, Abe and all those. And it, it was weird mm -hmm. because I I taped their their performances. And then as I play it back, it's kind of like osmosis. I'm watching their fingers and I'm going, oh, that's how they right, right. Like that. get Especially being, yeah. yeah, I get to watch them all the time. And, you know, that that was the cool part about, you know, doing videos with Ohana because I did a lot for all the performers there and stuff like that. So I kind of got it by osmosis. It was right, cool. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no but that and, yeah. and it you know it's cool that that you're, you're talking about what else do you like about the ukulele since you're working with them right um it's i mean i i consider myself to be you know fortunate in in where i'm at to be working um with the ukulele um i mean i know i can you know you go to a festival you get to meet so many um, great performers, great teachers, right? And and I, I get to do that every day. You know, when I talk to I talk to you, I talk to Abe. Sometimes I'll I'll talk to like Lisi, right. um, and and just having that that connection, yeah, to me, um, just makes so much more of a difference. Like I know if I if I wanted to ask something specific about the uke i can i have people i can go to you oh know? yeah absolutely and so, so this it's it's an instrument that you know, i mean piano like everybody plays the piano and so for me i'm just another piano player right, right. but here i've found such a it's such a close and tight-knit community mm. um, where so many people know each other and yeah it and is. we can talk we can have we have you know interactions I mean, I've seen the the ukulele underground forums, right? That's yeah. they're always going on. There's always you know things mm -hmm. going on, all um, that, yeah. events going on. So I yeah, I love it. Yeah. I think it, you know since you know it is it is the Hawaiian uh, state instrument, and it it does have a lot of aloha in that, and that's you know where I think that comes from because it's a friendly instrument, so awesome. And did you like? Right, yeah. I, I think you go on tour with like Benny Chong and Abe and stuff in China, and you got to like, you know, if you guys don't know who uh, Benny Chong is, he's awesome. Be like the guitar player for Daniel Ho, the senior. And but if you've ever watched him play ukulele, he's just amazing. His fingers, like, I, I just it looks like he's walking. He's just There. I think I lost you. Oh, there, oh, you, there you are. Okay, cool. I was watching you talk. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I did. It, it was super cool. I mean, so I did go on tour first with. Um, I fixed it. It was four of them. Four of them. It was it was Benny Chong, um, Jennifer Latham, who oh, plays our bass. Yeah. Uh, Cynthia Lin. Yes. Right. And oh, then yeah, Abe. Was, so yeah. the four of them. Um, and of course. Cynthia and Abe are, are pretty close. So they're used to, you know, working together, yeah. playing together. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure Jennifer and, and Benny have played together in the past at mm -hmm. some point. And so, so you know, everybody was already kind of um, in a similar zone, right, with their playing. And so get to see them play together and also separately. Um, but, yeah, it was great. Get to tour. Got to tour China for it was either a week or two weeks mm -hmm. um, with them. And like like you were saying, osmosis, just being there, watching them, and talking to them, you know, in between performances. Right. Um, that's I mean, that's that's the greatest you know learning experience. Already. No, totally. Yeah. You're on vacation with like some of the best yeah. ukulele players in the world, and you know, you're just like, wow, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I love that. It was it was half a, half a vacation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's that's pretty awesome. So cool. Well. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Let me. You know, you're you're just awesome over there at Ohana. I'm with you. Um, and I'm always like, you know, funny thing is, I'm always bugging Chris. Hey, Chris. You know, what do you got available? You know, stuff like that. And seeing. <laughs> and lately, uh, the ukulele has been popular. I think back in 2017, uh, the ukulele surpassed mm -hmm. uh, acoustic guitars and sales in the country. And I think it's due to the 
portability right. like yeah. you're talking about the easy easier to play i i like to say it's easy to play hard to practice that's like any music instrument <laughs> True. True. yeah and um and like where like right like last week i know you guys were out of some ukuleles like the our popular model which mm-hmm. is the sk10 uh packs mm-hmm. and then uh, we were able to get the sk14s which we're working on right now but um you know what do you think what do you think about that you see the ooks come and go you know is the popularity growing and you know what do you see yeah uh, in the industry right now yeah that without giving top secret information <laughs> <laughs> no it, since you mentioned that that um you know ukulele surpassing guitar sales that to me was was the biggest surprise in my mind guitars like this giant saturated market you know everybody's making and selling guitars and playing guitars right right um and then all of a sudden here's ukuleles coming up you know and then and then we shot past it um no i don't see that slowing down at all i Mm -hmm. think um so i think we can see that continue seeing that number go up i think accessibility has a lot to do with it Mm -hmm. um so you've got more not only more companies brands that are making and selling ukes um you've got you know more people um selling them as well on the store side um, Mm -hmm. whether it's brick and mortar or whether it's uh online and the word of mouth for ukulele always surprises me everybody talks about it and so you introduce your friend to it um you know like you have one and then you go to a party and people see you playing it. Hey, what's that? I want to want to try that too. Right. Yeah, try it out. You know, it's pretty cool. And then pretty soon they're buying one, and then their friend buys one, and then, so it just pretty soon everybody has a has a ukulele. No, it's amazing, yeah. and I love it because you know I t- I talk about how to teach yourself how to play ukulele, but it's not about the ukulele itself. It's music, and it's a musical journey. True. And there you, you go. Know, that's what's actually caught me is how music you know, affects you and stuff like that. But, you know, I, it started with the ukulele and I, I think I'll always love it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, you know, it's pretty interesting to me too. I see that happening. And I think we're like the YouTube general, you see a lot of that with mm-hmm. you get to see what you're able to do with the ukulele and people are pretty amazed. I remember when I first saw Jake and then, you know, actually mm-hmm. Abe, you talk about Abe, I was like bruised, like when I first started, I was you know, going through all this, all the videos, and I saw Abe, and I just, I was, I was shocked. I was just like, oh my gosh, this guy is awesome. And then when I met him, I was kind of like starstruck. I'm like, oh my God, you're that guy. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Kinda, it's kind of cool. No, he's, he's great. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So actually, um, for our audience out there, if you guys have any questions, just let us know. Um, but I just wanted to, uh, like, Right now, since it is the holiday season, um, I kind of want to like pick your brain. Maybe the audience probably has some sure. questions about ukuleles and stuff like that. Right now, um, I see that there's a lot of uh, young people that want to start, a lot of beginners that are starting. And I feel, in my opinion, not you know, not to be biased, but I feel that you guys have one of the best beginner packs and ukes available for people to get started into the, the, the yeah. ukulele community. So um, I think you have some like unboxing or something like that. You know, can you share with us a little bit, like some <laughs> some like uh, some ooks that are like good for beginners, I guess. Uh, sure. Or yeah, make so like I, right now I, it's I, the holiday I, season too, so these make awesome gifts. I like to give the gift of music. Right. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys stock like to stock these in addition to the you know the CK10, SK10, K10. Um, which does have this option. So this is a uh, what we call our starter pack. And so it's it's just the, the ukulele um, and we bundle it with a like a it comes with everything you need so basically. Everything yeah, everything you need to, to really get started playing. So here's a little um, bag strap, a tuner, um, an Ohana sticker just for fun. Uh, there, this, there's this also, screen thing is a chord chart. Doesn't it come with like a with free lesson chords. or something like that on there? Or? Yeah, there is a free lesson um, by a, an instructor who works on Skype named mm-hmm. Jeffrey Thomas. Nice. Um, and so every starter pack purchase comes with that. Um, 
And then this is the itself in a bag. Right. And this one, I think, is a red one, is it? Oh, these are the yeah, colored ones. Oh, these are awesome, yeah. So, so this pack, in this pack in particular, happens to be the red one. Um, Christmas you guys color. have done this too. You can do it, yeah, you can do it with the SK10, CK10, TK10. Right, right. right. Um, and then we have, yeah, colors, all the rainbow colors, plus some extra shades for the uh, SK10 color ebooks. Nice, nice. So that's that, uh, yeah. All right, let me share. Actually, I want to show this to people first before you start showing more ooks. But here are the ukulele oh, sizes, yeah. you guys. Um, you know, one of the things, like, when I first started and I was looking for ukulele, I wish I had a show like this that could show me, <laughs> like, hey, how do I buy an ukulele? What, what's good and what's bad? And so mm -hmm. basically, uh, first of all, I usually start out with the sizes. And if you go down or starting with the soprano that's the normal size which actually chris if you hold that up um that's the soprano size right there and then right next to it is a pineapple it's just a, a different style but you can see that how the difference in a pineapple and a soprano is but um and then going to the next one which would be a concert and actually do you have a concert do you have a concert i think i do uh -huh. Just don't keep going up in size. I don't have that many. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, here's a concert. Okay, that's a concert. Here's that's one cool. Of our concert size. Oh so yeah. Those are the things. differences. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's all right because I can go to the tenor, which is this size, right? Oh, I'm actually do this. There you go. Soprano. Yeah. Oh, yep, soprano. Concert, hey. and then you've got the tenor. Tenor. <laughs> nice. There you go. There you we go. got it. That was awesome. Three different right. sizes. Three different sizes. And then the baritone, um, it's just a different tuning, which is DGBE, -E, and mm -hmm. um, that would be like the bottom four. Uh, can you play the different ones? Actually, yeah. Is that one in tune? That's soprano? Uh, yeah. Uh, we got a question from Margaret. Hi, Margaret. How you doing? Um, she wanted to Hi, see Margaret. the difference. I'm gonna put are we the... showing them again, or are we playing? Uh, just play the soprano. I'll go ahead and play it. Right, Uh, that was the soprano, Margaret. That was the soprano, yeah. Entry level soprano. This is kind of an entry level concert. tenor um, I can't play as good as you can yeah and that's a tenor with a low G. <laughs> what was that you were just saying uh, what's that there you go <laughs> did you hear what me? was that about you can't play as well as I can <laughs> yeah you can play well. uh that, uh, I learn everything from you guys. Actually, I, you know, I honestly, I, I just want to appreciate Ohana because, you know, in my whole, as I was coming up, you know, um, meeting Lewis, I got a lot of my information from Ohana. And, you know, I got to meet a lot of the people, um, you know, in the ukulele industry. And it's just amazing. You know, Ohana stands for family and they really, truly are a family business, which is awesome. So cool. So yeah, those That's are the packs. Cool. Actually, the the those two packs come in uh, soprano and uh, and concert. Um, right now, I, I know at uh, Dave's Island we we kind of sold out of them. I think we have one more CK14 pack, <laughs> and all our SKs are out. But we have some of the SK14s that are coming. Do you have one of those available right there? Um, well, I, the one I pulled here that I was just playing was a, a CK-14. Right, right. So oh, just so imagine this the, the okay, side. Gotcha. That would come in the Yeah, it's side. got this black bind side. All right. Hi, Victoria. Yeah. You're late, actually. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. <laughs> She's, uh, I believe, Michigan? All right. Um, mm. She'll tell me. She'll tell me. All right. Uh, let's see. What are we up to next? 
Um, yeah, so those are awesome ukuleles from Ohana. Chris has been actually let me for buying ukuleles, what would be one uh, good tip for, you know, the people out there that you would give? Mm -hmm. Um, I hope this can apply to most people. Um, this is really more just me personally as a as a musician, if I were to buy any instrument. Right. Um, first thing is to do your research. Um, do your research, do your research, because like you just saw, we've got the sizes. Um, there's also wood types. There's um, you can even research to like your tuner types and string types and, and string brands. Right. Right. Um, so there's so much that goes into an ukulele. Um, if it's your first time, you know, then, then do enough to satisfy, you know, yourself. If you're buying a second or third ukulele, definitely, um, you know, dig deep. And um, for beginners, I'd say, I, I know, I know there's other companies that also have a similar, um, like a blog mm -hmm. where uh, it's like new tips for beginners. Um, we have one on our website and I know I've seen at least a few others. Um, so definitely, um, you know, do some research and uh find a good reputable dealer like dave's island yeah. um because you want you want to talk to somebody who knows what they're doing right yeah, yeah yeah and so they can help you answer questions and then also help you to find the real you know the key you that you're looking for nice i like that that was awesome thank yeah. you Chris. um yeah. and oh i don't have the website right now but it's www.ohanamusic.com so check them out they have a cool website if you want to check out their ukuleles um and maybe one beginner tip for people like starting out ukulele or playing and you know starting out playing yeah mm -hmm. yeah do you have any tips for yeah. uh for the people out there um Probably not ones that are better than what your past guests have covered since they actually play. Um, so, okay, this this is this is going to be s sort of connected to my last tip, but um, you know, make sure you get your first ukulele. You really, you know, love it and like um, looks, sound, whatever appeals to you, if at all possible. You know, get one that is you. Because enjoy, you know. The, you better really, you know, get into that feel with your, with your ukulele. Um, yeah, so you know, give it a name, put some stickers on it, whatever <laughs> fits you. Um, make the ukulele yours, and then you'll love to pick it up and play it all the time. Wow. Otherwise, it's just you know, lately, right? Right, right, right. No, that that that's yeah. important. You know, I always tell people like get the one that you can afford the most because usually it's like a little bit more than the one that you want. You're like, oh my god, it looks good when you hit it. Like it's kind of funny. Like um, in my story, like I I just hit that A note and then it just it sounds cliche like how music like a, a instrument picks you but it went straight into my ear and straight to my heart i couldn't put it down and i, I was just like <laughs> well, oh my God. Then, then i got i started with a soprano ukulele actually i have it my neighbor had this one and it uh -huh. it has like a whole day and all i did was because i knew my fingers i had to like practice my finger thing and i made it was my first ukulele was not a oh, it was another brand they're a good brand Kala. that was my first one that i bought it was a tenor and mm -hmm. then this nice. this guy and then i got this beautiful dude right here so right and is that a that's a pick guard that you put on it yeah right? actually i have a like i wore it there's a hole underneath there and then like <laughs> i just go it was starting yeah. to flap a little bit so i just i had to stick it down uh -huh. like a pick guard and you see it's starting to do it yeah here, so i might it's like, you know how you're saying like pimpy ride, but basically it's kind of cool. Right, right. right. Yeah, you know that's I mean? exactly it. Yeah. 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 That, that's, there's, there's your proof that you, you know, love your youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I, well, I play it all the time. So it's like, I, I get it. I'm like, yeah, it's going to get like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, um, thank you. Um, thank you for being on and sharing. You know, this is, 
Uh, again, I said this is the holiday season, and I know a lot of people are out there with gifts for um, their loved ones, you know, stuff like that. And I can't think of a better gift to give than the gift of music. Um, it's helped. It's changed. Right. Honestly, it's changed my life, and I know it's changed a lot of other people's life. And the more and more I work with Dave's Island, I see all the people that come and go and how music affects them and how we can help them get to where they want to be. And that's that's the beauty of where we work. So cool. Um, you have anything yeah. else for us, Chris? <laughs> um, hmm. Do I? I mean, if you guys had any you know questions that I could help answer or... Uh, yeah, I mean, like you were saying, we're, we've got some ukes, I think, pretty much ready to get over to Dave's Islands. Nice, nice. I know. That's I guess exciting. I'll yeah. probably be over Monday to come pick that up, and then I'll go take a look at some other sure. ones, too, because I think you had some other one-of-a-kinds that I was looking at, so I like I like those. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you That's do. just me. That, yeah. you, know, just, you know, I like finding the uni unique ones and stuff, but Ohana's, <laughs> Ohana's awesome. So Chris, uh, I don't think we have that many questions. It means your is loved. <laughs> Stefani saying somebody was just talking and stuff like that. Uh, but thank you for being on. Um, I think we'll continue on you with bet. the training. If you want to stay on, you can. If not, um, you're good to go. But I appreciate okay. you get coming on with us. I know you're taking a, you're very busy over there at Ohana. And um, do you want to share any upcoming cool secrets with Ohana? Is there anything coming up that's... Da -da. Huh. My mic just went out. Wait, hold on. Oh, there you go. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, I can show you a few few new instruments if you're yeah care to see them. okay does everybody yeah. want to see new instruments say yeah <laughs> hey, my my Before motto is and i haven't done this is every day everybody keep on strumming ukulele you're gonna see some secret stuff hopefully it's awesome look at that wall of ukuleles that's just amazing oh. <laughs> yeah before i come in there's that wall of ukes um so oh, this one saying yes Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh my! This is goodness. a baritone history. So this is one that we. Oh, you're back. Here you yeah. Go. Um, this is one that we showed at this year's nam for the first time um and then it was in production and then we finally got it in wow, so like, hold that up not, I see that. Ever, hold that up what it's definitely for definitely that's a for baritone players but oh this is a bar hold yours up yeah it's a baritone body wow that's like a yeah, super baritone body mini with guitar eight but, oh my gosh <laughs> um strum see, that is it in tune uh, strum it i want to hear it Probably not, but oh, yeah, dude, don't strum it. No, no it takes a while. Yeah, I know it takes a while to tune those things. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's this one, and then what? See, that was here. awesome. Oh my god, that thing's probably crazy. Uh, this one, I forget if we had this one at Nam or not, but this is a pineapple uh, concert size, oh. and it's got this. Uh, Kind of pineapple shaped headstock. The tuners are like this gold finish. Oh, those are black awesome. buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so my God. The wood. What kind of wood is that? And so this is uh, this is mango, spalted mango. Wow. It means they do something to the wood during the curing process. So all around spalted mango. Oh it's got a gloss God. finish. That's all you can see a reflection. Yeah, yeah. That one's pretty. Oh my god. Um, so it's a concert size. So. That's cool. What yeah. do they cut? That comes in soprano too. Does that come in soprano? Uh, this one, this comes in. No, this one just comes in concert for now. Uh huh. 
Um, it's our newest, our newest pineapple. But we have pineapples that are in soprano concert, tenor size, and even smaller than soprano. Oh, but that's the spalted mango. So, okay, oh, that's just the wood. All right, cool. This so is you... spalted. Yeah, the wood is spalted. Oh, mango, okay, yeah. got you. And the other ones you have are like kind of like different yeah. types of woods and stuff. Okay, got it. Wow, wow, those are awesome. Air... Victorious is beautiful. Stefani's like, yeah. What else have we got? Let's see it. I, I think we're we're having like a beauty pageant for ukuleles right now. It's pretty crazy. Um, right, right. Okay. Um, uh oh, here he comes. Reaching into the bag. Reaching into the bag. Oh, that one. Is that Sir Cody? So I know you guys have been. I know you guys have been looking at this the whole time. No, no, it's it's not Sir Cody. Um, oh. So this is this is probably one of our more unique ones because the front has two you can see it's two different oh. kinds of wood wow so this is one and then this sandwiches it and then it sets mahogany in the middle and then spruce, spruce on the side is this a yeah, new one and then in the back oh. uh we this is so this is two other types of wood so it's a total of four types of wood that make up this two is in the front in, two in the back is that one in tune strum that baby <laughs> cool actually i like that yeah <laughs> um no we we've had it it was out of stock for a little while and now we yeah. finally got it back is that a tenor but um it's is a tenor a size tenor? yeah does that come in concert too it's a tenor size or it does just... this one does Ooh. it comes in concert yeah oh so we've got concert we've got tenor model um, model number what is it everybody right oh, i should be <laughs> model numbers <laughs> uh the so t for tenor tk K as in kite, dash, 90, 90, uh -huh. uh, and then S as in Sam, C as in Charles, TK, 90, is nice. this one. Wow, that one's pretty, actually, and it sounds really good. Were the tuners right. closed back? Yeah, those cl tuners? yeah. They, yeah, they are. They're, right. Yeah. Oh, and the, the, the knobs are sort of this translucent um, eggshell white kind of a thing. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, you have such a cool job, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as cool as yours. <laughs> one more, and then we'll let you go. Oh, okay. One more. Oh, what is that here? What is that here? I'm trying to pick from what you guys can see. Okay. If you guys can see the. Yeah. Ooh, another. I'm sure some of you have seen this one. This one's not in tune. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? This oh, is kind of tune. So this is our. This guy, some of you may have seen it. It's got 10, so here's five, and here's five tuners. So there's 10 strings total. Tarot patch. Is that the uh, tarot patch? Wow. No, the tarot what? patch is the six string. Six string. This oh, is okay. 10 strings. Oh, my Yeah, so this is the, the tipple. Um, tipple. Oh, yeah, that's these right. back in the day. Yeah, 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 that's right. The tipple. Yeah, okay. this is our vintage you based on one from long, long ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think over the history, why they went with multiple strings was because back then they didn't have amplification. So when you added more strings, it gave it more resonance and, you know, made it a little bit louder. And that's why they, they actually do multiple strings. You'll see five strings, six strings, and now 10 strings. Wow. And yeah, I haven't seen more than ten, but I know yeah, for yeah. even for guitars they used to do that. I yeah, think there's yeah. like twelve string guitars. Twelve string guitars, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My brother has one. It's, yeah, it's pretty great. awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, those, yeah, I think all those were metal strings, right? On that, that particular. They are. Yeah, one. they're all. Yeah, yeah Victoria was mm -hmm. asking. A mix of like bronze and silver. Right. right, right. Oh, okay. They are. Yeah. 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 Cool. That's all right. right. Again, Chris, I know we've kept you over time, man. You're awesome, dude. Um, no, you're good. You're yeah, good. yeah. Yeah. Uh, if anybody has any last questions, quick, 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 before we let Chris go. All right, Chris, <laughs> you the man. Um, thank you um, for being on. Uh, Ohana Ukuleles. Yeah. I love working with these guys. Um, and um, as you, as I've been telling you, I've been uh, building up the ukulele store, and I've been filling it up with, uh, you know, Ohana Ukulele. So. Um, if you're looking for a gift for a loved one or you want to upgrade your ukuleles to some of the cool ones that Chris uh, showed, 
uh, check out our website and uh, we'll go from there. Cool. Yeah, and if you guys have any other questions that didn't get typed in or you think of it later, um, here is my Ooh, email okay. address since we don't have that on screen. Actually, I can type it in here. Let me oh, I just put it in the Oh, you put it in the oh, Okay, no, it won't. go, go. Yeah, <laughs> just put it in the comments. You want to do the comments? Um, hang on. Okay, just add a .com to that. They wouldn't let me add the .com. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, cool. It should yeah. be in there. Chris, I appreciate you. I appreciate all you do out there. I just want to give it a shout out because, you know, there's Lewis Wu, that's the owner, but it's all a family business. There's Chris, there's Stephanie over there, there's Leigh, there's Jason, there's Brad. Am I missing anybody? You know, all those, all the Ohana, yeah, the Ohana family, you know, that they, they're, they're working really hard. I know in these crazy times, people want music. That's why you guys have been busy. And, you know, that's why I've been busy. And I believe the good vibes that you're able to provide for people, you know, it does help, you know, it definitely does help. So appreciate that, Chris, Always. for being here and sharing. Um, and then we'll, I'm going to end with like a quick lesson. No, actually, I'm just going to end with a song, actually, because we're kind of, we're by that time. Yeah, we'll just end with song. Yeah, yeah we'll end with a song. Um, did you want to stay on for the song or do you want to? Da, 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 da. I'll stay on. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you to, to all of you guys who are tuning in um, faithfully each week. All right. I cool. know some of them are your students. So. Yeah. Yeah. They're awesome. Man. They're just so cool. We're you gonna be great. actually great. like we're gonna we're working on. Um, I want to plan for next year and then start out uh, the year strong and then just have stuff available. Uh, Wednesday, mm -hmm. you know, maybe if you want to get on, maybe we have a Zoom class that we just hang out and you know kind of appeal and go over the songs like we do. Uh, currently which is really oh, yeah. fun so you know um I, I usually send out an email and then you can check out our events page and it's a zoom call so we just hang out and then if you have questions okay. you know stuff like that i know victoria you've been trying to get on so we, we have to try to figure <laughs> that out for you um and then I do more like uh like you know in-person stuff but like socially distant safe stuff so uh, i've been working with amy another one of our uh people oh here we go we got a question can you clarify the types of ukuleles, tenor, concert, and soprano? Actually, um, thank you, Clay, for the question. I'm going to put your thing up there right now. And I'm going to show, I, I must, you must have missed the, the sizes, but here are the sizes of the ukuleles. And if you see that, hopefully that helps, starting with the bottom. Actually, Chris can hold up an example of the soprano uke and... And then the concert right there, right next to it, all in and then order. You got the tenor. And then I got the tenor. Yeah. Too big for the screen. <laughs> yeah, too big for the screen. How <laughs> my lens is like that. So oh. soprano, soprano right here, Go. and then concert. And then tenor. And then tenor. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. Yeah. It's so awesome. Technology is rad. <laughs> I'm glad we could do yeah. this. It's so awesome. All right, cool. Hopefully that answers your yeah. question, Clay. All right. Um, so bo -bo, any chances? Oh, Gary could t Gary, one of my students, he's awesome. Any chances Ohana making small guitars, not galeles? Ooh, don't we? What was the last part? Not Ohana making small guitars, not a galele, not the galele one that you have. Oh, a guitar lele, yeah, not a guitar lele. Oh, okay, yeah, small yeah, guitars because yeah. I know um, I've seen, yeah. I, well, I don't want to say anything, but yeah. Is, is there any small guitars coming out in <laughs> um so so funny funny we mentioned that question um we do i think this year we started having a guitar lately or a ukulele the same thing yeah um so we do have a guitar lately and our idea with that one was to uh make it accessible um for like guitar players coming into or uh, going into guitar. um and so i don't think i have one handy but uh the guitar lately that we made it's a tenor body and we took the exact same body like the specs are all the same right but we turned it into a micro guitar and really it's just a change of the strings mm -hmm. but because of the change of the strings, it's different notes and different strings. And so it's two different models, almost two different instruments. Um, 
for depending on you know what kind of player you are. So right now we have that small guitar. Um, I think if we yeah if we ever did make any like you know proper guitars, uh, I don't think they would be full because I mean there's enough of those out there right from other makers. So it would be a small scale. Uh, like our ukulele bass, our our well, it's not really a ukulele bass. It's short scale bass, um, so we call it compact bass. It's a it's a smaller scale, right. um, like the body of like a small scale guitar, sort of. So, yeah, I think I think the chances are pretty good there. Awesome. Actually, uh, Victoria is asking four or six strings. Oh sure. Um, for like, I think for the galele, it is six strings, right? Or the gu guitar, six strings. yeah. And if they make a six mini strings, guitar, six yeah, strings. yeah. And if they make a smaller guitar, mm -hmm. because I'm not even gonna say it, but yeah, I think I've seen something like that before. <laughs> I know, I know, I think I know what she's talking about because there's a thing called a tenor guitar, yeah, yeah, out there that only has four strings, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen some of those. Yeah. But actually, you have a baritone that's actually tuned to GCEA, right? Or is it a tenor baritone or something like that? Like, there's, there's actually it's like... right. So it's it's a uh, call it a berry tenor, right? Berry baritone and tenor. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the body is a baritone, and the scale, like the neck all the way down to the the bridge, is a tenor scale. Okay. So the chords you're playing. Um, and the, the space you have is like uh, a tenor uke. Yeah, yeah. But the body for you to hug is a baritone. Yeah, yeah. And and just if you guys have never like played a like a bigger uke or you know other than like from concert and up, like it's so crazy because like the back it vibrates a lot more and then you can feel it on your stomach. So like a baritone like that would go whoa and then you're just it, it would yeah I can hear that sound coming out. That's so rad. <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah awesome cool cool thank Thanks you for Chris. The questions, everybody. yeah yeah thank, thank you everybody for the questions clay no worries you know that's why we're here to answer all those questions but cool um i'm just gonna leave everybody with this chris is gonna stay on maybe jam with us a little bit i'm gonna put on yeah. let me see how i can do this i will go to all actually wait, let me go to let me go to this one there we go. Ooh. Hey there, there I am. Yep. I'm gonna... Just gonna do some Bob Marley here. back and boom all right here we're back can you hear me all right we're gonna do obladi oblada this is a fun song um i kind of wanted to give you guys these chords because your chords are going to be c g g7 c and f another chord that you're going to be doing is the a minor c i usually do an a minor I do like a regular A minor, but I use my pointer finger and then I use uh, my index finger to do the A minor C. That's what that looks like. All right, cool. And I'm going to give you guys the riff really quick uh, for the first verse. You see it right there. We start out with C. It's just a regular C. goes like this um obla wait da 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 how's it go molly says this and she takes it obla di la da goes on g and then a minor 7 la 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 life goes on obla di obla da life goes on la 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 life goes on so you got to practice 
It's kind of tricky from going from the C to the G to the A minor C, so that's a good one to practice right there. All right. So um, what we'll do is we'll do uh, first the verse, then go into the chorus as an instrumental. Uh, just you guys started, and then once we finish the chorus on the C, we'll just start singing on the verse one. Okay. If that was too quick for you, just uh, try to hang on. You can replay as you go along. How's my sound, Chris? Are we good? Give me a thumbs up. All right, here we go. Um, on four, ready. One, two, three, four. I'm back. Thanks for being on again. That was uh, Obla Di Obla Da. Sorry for the, sorry for the audio. Um, we gotta call this company and say what the heck is going on. <laughs> Gary Gatori, thank you for the clappies. <laughs> thank you. And, and um, if you guys ever want this music, uh, you can email. I have a, a link with all these songs on here, um, and it has all the song sheets that we go through. Um, and you know, just have fun. You know. That's what it's all about, sharing music and having fun. So I'm glad we could be here with you guys today. Thank you, Chris, for being on. Ohana is awesome. Love their ukuleles. And, you know, this holiday season, if you're looking to get a new ukulele, if you want to upgrade your ukuleles, we have some good stuff. <laughs> but other than that, I want to leave you with this. This is my motto. You guys know it. Every day, keep on strumming ukulele. Keep <laughs> All right, Chris, you have a good 
Good one, and we are out. Thanks, everyone.